Well, as of today, New York City school teachers and staff must have at least one dose of the COVID-19 shot or face suspension and possible termination. So late Friday, Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor denied an emergency request. This was by four New York City teachers to block the city's vaccine mandate. Now, the unvaccinated teachers say they should be given an option to regularly test rather than be forced to get the shot. And joining us now, Rachel Miniscalco. She is a high school English teacher who will not be showing up to her classroom this morning. She is one of the four teachers who petitioned to the court. Thank you so much for being here with us, Rachel. Thanks for having me. Good morning. So just starting off, we want to know why it is, you know, your decision to not get the shot. Maybe you can explain to some of our viewers why you hold that so dearly to yourself. Of course. Uh, yeah, last year when the vaccines rolled out, I was actually pregnant. Uh, my daughter was born June 1st, so I learned of my pregnancy last September. <clears throat> And the vaccine started to roll out around uh, December, I would say. And there wasn't enough information. Uh, there was one preliminary study on pregnant women by the New England Journal of Medicine. Uh, I did not like those results. I'm 36 years old, so I wasn't going to do anything that would jeopardize my pregnancy in any way. Wait, 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 uh, wait, when you, you say you didn't would, like those results, what do you mean by you didn't like the results? Uh, the, mis the rate of miscarriage and stillbirth. Mm -hmm. um, you, you should probably read the study for that information, but uh, I did not want to do anything at all, put anything at all in my body that would possibly lead to a miscarriage because at 36, my rate is a little bit higher than it was yeah. with my first child. Um, so my daughter was born June 1st, and between the time when I found out that I was pregnant and June when she was born, um, I didn't like what was going on. I did not like the over 700,000 adverse event reactions on theirs. I did not like the censorship of doctors and nurses speaking out against uh, the safe and effective narrative. Um, I did not appreciate the censorship like on YouTube, for example. Uh, you know, if we're going to talk about the pros and cons of any medicine, of anything at all, in the um, you know in the healthcare world, then we need to have complete and open discourse. We need to have transparency. We still do not know every single ingredient in these shots. Uh, in fact, ICANN has asked formally uh, for Pfizer to release the one ingredient that they have redacted. So. I really think it's important for everyone to know every single thing, pro, con, any adverse reaction that may happen, and that is the only way to truly have informed consent. But, but Rachel, Rachel, at this point, it's FDA approved. Millions, hundreds of millions of people have taken it. The adverse reactions are infinitesimal compared to the amount of people who have taken it without issue. Shouldn't yeah. parents have the right to know their kids can go to school and have everyone in the building be vaccinated? Well, you know, cigarettes are also FDA approved and Chantix was also FDA approved and just taken off the market. Uh, this wouldn't be the first time that something is FDA approved and, you know, has been found to be very detrimental. Um, I have not come across parents who uh, demand vaccination as one of their requirements for teaching their, their children. Uh, I think the more pertinent information for them is that their teachers and their service providers are licensed and certified and experts in their field. Okay, so next for you, you're not gonna be showing up to school uh, today, not gonna be no. showing up to tomorrow as well. What do you see for yourself uh, moving forward? Do you think you may give yourself some more time and say, hey, I'm comfortable getting the shot now, I will go back to teaching or are you gonna pivot and change careers? I'm gonna have to see where this goes. I don't think this is going to last in terms of a mandate for the Department of Education. Um, I think this week is going to be an absolute disaster. Uh, you know, already the mayor likes to say that he's prepared. There are thousands upon thousands of vacancies in Subcentral as of yesterday. Yeah. People are sending me videos. People are sending me the phone calls that they're receiving um, from Subcentral asking, begging for them to be filling these vacancies. So moving forward, I guess we'll have to see what happens with that. There are two options that I could take in terms of unpaid leave that's automatic as of today and severance if I do choose to part ways with the Department of Education. Mm -hmm. But I'll always be a teacher. That will always be my passion. And uh, moving forward, you know, I might open my own learning center, tutoring space, school even. I guess we'll have to see where that takes me. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, you know, I'm curious. The mandates have worked as we've gotten closer as far as upping the number of vaccinated employees, regardless of where we've seen them significantly. Have you talked to colleagues, friends, et cetera, who were where you were with the decision who then changed their mind as we got closer to the mandate? Of course, of course, it's all coercion. It's 100% coercion. I have people reaching out to me sending me videos of them crying getting this they didn't want it they do feel like they've been experimented on um you know the clinical trials for certain subsets of the population are still going to be going on until 2027 and this is what i mean about informed consent right these are the things that are not being told to the people taking this and i do have people who have reached out and and apologized as if they have something to apologize to me for and i say Absolutely not. I do not judge you. I judge the mayor, the Department of Education, the chancellor, and the Department of Health for coercing us to do this, to, to believe that we are taking food out of our families' mouths if we do not uh, comply with this. So shame on them. Rachel Maniscalco, we appreciate you being on with us this morning. Um, hopefully everything gets figured out and, you know, things work so. out Thanks for you for the best me. way that possible. Thanks so much.